So here's how to reduce your odds of getting duplicate sleeper nodes. First, a bit of background though. There are 40 sleeper nodes in Destiny 2 scattered around Mars. To access each of these requires an override frequency, and you get override frequencies by combining four resonant stems. You get resonant stems primarily from completing public events, completing patrols, looting lost sectors, and looting high value targets. Since you need four resonant stems to make each override frequency, and since there are 40 sleeper nodes, you might assume all you need is 160 resonant stems to be able to open all 40 sleeper nodes. Unfortunately, that's not the case. When you combine resonant stems, there is some RNG at play. Every time you combine your resonant stems, there is a chance you'll get the override frequency of a sleeper node you have had before. In other words, because what you get when you combine them is random, you're going to get duplicate override frequencies. A lot of them, in fact. Having to deal with a few duplicates doesn't sound all that bad, at least at first, but once you've progressed to the point where you've got like 30 of the 40 that you need, well, it can become pretty horrendous. At that point, your odds of getting the override frequency for the last 10 you need are pretty bad. When you've finally gotten 39 of the 40, the odds you'll get that last one are even worse. Uh, it seems a lot worse. Bungie cursing worse. To put that comment in perspective, the very last sleeper node I had to get took about a thousand resonant stems before I got it. And that's no exaggeration, I was losing my mind over it. But here's the thing, what I didn't realize at the time was I was doing it wrong. While there is definite RNG involved, it's not all RNG. So if it's not all RNG, what was I doing wrong exactly? What I was doing is I was combining my resonant stems while standing in the wrong place. Where you are located when you combine your stems matters. That's because while at first glance it all seems like RNG, it isn't. There is a definite weighting applied to the override frequency you're likely to get, and that is based on the location you're at when you combine your resonant stems. The longer it took to get my last one, the more I began to realize something like that was going on. The moment I realized this, I started combining my stems in different areas. After that, it didn't take me long to get the final override frequency that I needed. But when I did, I didn't stop combining stems. What I did was I kept on testing. I combined 100 override frequencies in each of the four main locations and recorded what happened. You can see that here. The first thing that is extremely clear on this table are the zero percents. These show that if you want an override frequency for a sleeper node in a particular area, the odds are against you getting it if you combine your resonant stems in that same area. You can see the 4% there for Futurescape. So from that we can be sure it's not 100% given that you can't get a frequency for the same location that you're standing in. It does happen, it can happen. But the odds are definitely against you. The second thing that's evident here is that the override frequency you get may also be for a sleeper node in a specific area depending on where you created it. For example, the numbers showed while in Alton Dynamo, there was a 40% chance I'd get one for Futurescape above any other area. Now, on this part of the subject, I'll be the first to agree that 100 frequencies isn't a conclusive test to say categorically with 100% conviction that you're more likely to get one in Futurescape if you're in the Alton Dynamo area. My tests are as much subject to RNG as anyone's, and 100 is really a small sample in the grand scheme of things. But that said, I had already combined over a thousand resonant stems before this test and I'd noticed the exact same thing playing out. So in my personal experience, these numbers are a small sample, but they have matched a much larger sample of experience, meaning I see the probability of them being pretty accurate as being higher than not. The one thing that is absolutely true though is that a weighting is being applied to make an override frequency not appear in location A if you're combining your stems in location A. It follows and isn't such a big leap then to accept that a second weighting may also apply to increase the odds of the location the override frequency will relate to based on where you combined it as well. It's probably a part of the calculation. Check where the player is standing. If player is in location A, apply a 1% chance or something like that to getting an override frequency for location A. Then apply a 40% chance for location B and a 20% for location C and so on. And that does seem to be how this is working. And if so, then you can use this knowledge to reduce your chances of getting duplicates. You won't eliminate your chance as there's still RNG to contend with for each actual location itself, 
but applying what we know to where you combine your stems will definitely help you. There is no question about that. So here's what to do. If you're missing a sleeper node in the mine lab area, combine at the Braytech Futurescape area. And then if that doesn't help you over time after you've done a few, then combine at the Olympus Descent area. If you're missing uh, a sleeper node in the Futurescape area, then combine at Alton Dynamo. And if that doesn't help you after you've done a few of those, then try combining them at Olympus Descent. If you're missing one in the Dynamo area, combine at Mine Lab Rasputin, and then try Olympus Descent. And if you're missing one from the Descent area, combine at Mine Lab Rasputin, and if that doesn't help after a while, try combining them at Alton Dynamo. And finally, if you're missing one in the Drift area, combine at Braytech Futurescape, and if that doesn't help you after a while, try Alton Dynamo. Now I know that if you do combine your stems with this in mind, it will ultimately save you a ton of grinding time, so give it a go. Good luck.